Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Cakes by MK. So a lot of you have asked me whether I could do a video on how to make an edible gold paint without using alcohol in it. Now in today's video I'm going to be experimenting with four non-alcoholic alternatives to see whether they're great substitutes when it comes to making an edible gold paint and specifically for when painting on buttercream. Now do keep in mind today's video is specifically looking at painting on buttercream and not fondant and the reason why I say that is because all of the trials that I'm going to do are on buttercream not fondant and um, you know fondant does act differently when being painted on than buttercream so you know some of these might work for fondant but I just can't say for sure so just keep that in mind. Also if you're new to my channel please click the subscribe button below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I upload a new video. But apart from that, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now when it comes to a non-alcoholic alternative to making an edible gold paint using luster dust, there are many different options out there that people suggest and after doing a lot of research I came up with what I consider to be the top four based on people's different reviews. Now those four which I have chosen are water, lemon juice, vegetable oil and vanilla essence. Now when it comes to the water, lemon juice and vanilla essence, they seem like pretty tangible options with you know not too much difference in terms of their consistency, but the one that is kind of you know more of an out there option and I do have you know a few doubts about is the vegetable oil. Now the reason why I still wanted to try out the vegetable oil is apparently it has really beautiful results. So you know apparently it comes out really smooth and you get a really nice shine from it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and start making the gold paint out of these four different liquids and to do that I'm using a gold Go bake pearl luster dust. Now while I'm mixing the um, you know luster dust with the liquid together the key thing that I'm looking for is a nice consistency. So the consistency should be like a thin paste so it shouldn't be too thin that you know it's really watery but it shouldn't be too thick either that you know it's like this thick paste that you're not able to you know smoothly paint with. So yeah now I'm just going to go ahead and make my four gold paints. So I've just mixed the gold dust with some water. Now this consistency here at the moment is quite liquidy so I'm going to go ahead and add a bit more of the gold luster dust. And this one is the lemon juice. So this one's actually gotten too thick because I've added too much luster dust to it so I'm just going to add a little bit more lemon juice. This is the vegetable oil. So, so far out of the um, water, lemon juice and this oil that I'm now doing, the oil definitely feels really nice and smooth. So I can understand why people would um, want to use vegetable oil when using, um, you know, luster dust to make a gold paint. And last up is our vanilla essence. So I finished mixing my four different gold paints now. Some of them did need a little bit more liquid so I just topped it up as I was mixing them. And now the last thing to do is simply test them out and see how they come out. So what I've got here is some American buttercream which I have put on some parchment paper and I've let that firm up in the fridge so just make sure that whenever you're using any kind of edible gold paint that your buttercream or whatever you're using um, you know, as your icing is nice and firm otherwise the icing is just going to stick to your paintbrush and it's not going to come out very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off with the water and then I'm going to work my way um, all the way to the vanilla essence and then we're going to see how they come out. So the luster dust with the water has come out really nice and it's given a really nice coverage as well so you know you're not kind of getting parts of the buttercream showing through which is really cool. Now next up is the lemon juice. So the lemon juice has come out really similar to the water and it's given a really beautiful coverage as well. And next is our vegetable oil. So the vegetable oil has come out really nice and smooth and it's definitely um, you know, a lot smoother to paint with which is nice. And last up is our vanilla essence. Okay, and the vanilla essence has appeared to come out really nice as well. It's given a really beautiful coverage. Now, if I take a closer look at all of them, in terms of color, they all seem to be, 
you know, almost identical. I'd say the lemon juice has got a slightly darker shade of gold, but apart from that, they're almost identical. So in terms of um, coverage and color, they've all done really well. Now, the only visual difference that I can see um, from all four of them is with the vegetable oil. So it seems like the vegetable oil has come off, you know, a bit smoother than the other three. So the vegetable oil seems to have, you know, kind of covered up the little holes in my buttercream. Whereas the vanilla essence, lemon juice and water appear to kind of not have covered up those holes entirely. But if you do smooth out your buttercream properly, then you shouldn't have holes in it like that. But it is still interesting though that, um, you know, it still appears that the vegetable oil did cover up those little holes in my buttercream. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to let these sit for about half an hour or so just to give them some time to dry out. And then we're going to come back and see whether there's any kind of changes in the colour or anything like that. So our gold paint has been sitting for about half an hour and they still look really, really good. So all of them still have really good coverage. Now, the only thing I would say is that the vanilla essence appears to not have dried as well as the others. So the others have still this really nice metallic shine coming through, but they don't look wet. Whereas the vanilla essence kind of has this um, wet shine to it. And you know, if I maybe just give it a little touch. Yeah, so as you can see, it's still very wet. It hasn't dried very well. That's maybe the only downfall when it comes to the vanilla essence. Now, the other three, like I said, they um, seem to have dried really well. They're not going to be dry kind of to the touch in the sense that, you know, it's not going to kind of just stick to the buttercream, but dry in the sense that, you know, it doesn't look wet and it doesn't seem like it's going to go anywhere. <laughs> the lemon juice, I feel, still has probably the deepest color to it. Although the lemon juice and the water are quite similar, but I would recommend, you know, all these three as potential, you know, non-alcoholic alternatives to using with, um, you know, luster dust when making a gold paint. So yeah, that's basically my little experiment for today. I hope you guys learned something valuable from it. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And thanks again for watching Cakes by MK.